In less than a month, Samsung will take the stage at its unpacked event in Korea to announce a number of new flagship devices, including the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Galaxy Z Flip 5. And it seems Samsung is finally beginning to properly test the Fold 5, as the international per global variant of the phone has popped up on the Geekbench website. The first Galaxy Fold 5 benchmark was spotted back in March for the USA variant, so it's taken three months for the global variant to make an appearance. The global variant's single-core performance score is lower than the US variant, but we can expect all variants to have the same performance once the device hits retail shelves as Samsung's foldables are powered by the same chip in every market. As per the Geekbench listing, the device got 1845 points in single-core, while in multi-core it received 5083 score. The benchmark also confirms the Fold 5 will launch running Android 13 out of the box instead of Android 14, which is to be expected, especially now that Samsung is releasing its new foldables a little earlier than usual. Both the foldables will, however, run a newer version of One UI, version 5.11 to be exact. The latest version is expected to mostly bring new features designed for foldable devices and will, at the very least, be released for older Galaxy Fold and Flip models. Some features might be released for Samsung's non-folding devices, but if history is any guide, those features probably won't be too exciting. As for updates, it will be eligible for four major Android OS upgrades and five years of security updates based on Samsung's current software policy. Samsung is free to surprise us by expanding that policy to include five major Android OS updates for the Galaxy Fold 5, though we won't be holding our breath, and neither should you. Earlier, the Fold 5 official-looking render indicates that it will come with a triple rear camera setup on the back, which again looks familiar from the Galaxy Fold 4. The only difference we can see is the upcoming Galaxy Fold 5 might pack in a slimmer bezel compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 4 in a powerful processor, which can surpass the S23 Ultra's performance. Still, both are using the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. But the size factor of foldable could be a better solution for heat dissipation, which leads to a higher benchmarks too. So what do you guys think about this new benchmarks of upcoming foldable from Samsung? What could be the main reason for the global variant's single core performance score lower than the US variant? Share your valuable thoughts below in the comment section. And if you guys enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.